Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life at SAP. In today's session, we are going to learn about the uh, validation rule. Uh, before going to that, I uh, just want to tell you that what is a validation rule. So basically, in SAP FSCO, as a SAP FSCO consultant, uh, validation rule is uh, defined by a function consultant which validates one or more than two fields as per the given criteria. In the validation rule, we have uh, total three steps. Uh, those are prerequisites, check, and message. In prerequisites, we will maintain the criteria at at what level this uh, this validation rule should be work out, and at check uh, and check level at what field system should check and message in what type of the error message or warning message or information message which type of a uh, message should be populated and what is the description of the page so these all things we can uh, we can maintain there so basically in validation rule uh, we will create in the, the help of transaction code ggp0 and once uh, this validation rule is defined then we will go and assign it to our company code with the help of transaction code ob28 uh, so before uh, doing the, the configuration, I will explain uh, what is my exact uh, my client requirement. So here, whenever uh, my client requirement is uh, whenever a end user uh, go to the transaction a B fifty and select a document type uh, uh, SCA or whatever it's a document type and post to the uh, enter the GL account. Whenever he is entering the balance sheet GL account, the assignment sh field should be. Uh, mandatory so he, he he should not bypass the assignment field without entering any value there so here what we what we have to do is here uh, so simply we have to create the validation rule uh, yeah i'm accessing the transaction code ggp0 here we have to select the financial accounting and and while defining this validation rule, uh, we have we can see the call point. Call point is nothing but whether this validation rule is defining at at level at what level. Whether we have three options totally: a document header level. If this uh, if you are meant if you are putting the uh, validation rule in the header fields like company code, document type, posting date, document date, then we have to use this uh, document header. And for line item, for line item like uh, GL account, profit center, cost center, assignment field, trading partner, for those all things, we can use a line item or for complete document, we have to use this complete document option. So as of now, I'm going with the line item level. So we are, I'm, I'm creating this step. I'm creating a new step here. And the name of uh, GL line item validation. And as I told you earlier, we have three steps: prerequisites, check, and message. I'm starting with the prerequisites. So here I'm selecting a uh, header information first, company code. Here I will go and select the company code. So company code is equal to and constant always two zero zero one. My company code is two zero zero one, and and then I will take a transaction code. So we will find the transaction code here in the above field. Here we can see the transaction code. Transaction code is equal to constant B50. And, and now I have to take a GL account. So I'm going to line item level and I'm entering the GL. So this is not my correction. This is one B H point. I'm selecting the GL and is equal to and constant. I will take one of the balance sheet GL account. So let me take another session and transaction to FS triple zero. And here I will take this petty cash GL account. Yes. I'm adding this here in the constant. So here system is showing the green button. So our validation uh, criteria is completed. In check at what field level the system should check this 
uh, this criteria. So I'm going to the BFEG level. Uh, assignment field will be on a BFEG level. That you will not. So I'm going here and assignment field BFEG. This is not this one. And yeah, this one. BFEG JDUONR assignment. So I'm selecting this file, this field. And here, whenever this user user uh, leave this field as blank then system should uh, throw the error message and uh, uh, end user should not able to move further so that is our uh, main agent of this video so here i have to select this option not equal to and click on constant and uh, give a space blank and hit enter then system will take this assignment assignment field not equal to blank and in message i will go and select the uh, already defined messages here so assignment field is required uh, if you want i will show you how to create we need to click on here and oh no. just a second how this one yeah here so i will create an assignment field assignment field is required my uh number range is 004 i'm saving this one and i will go back step back and i will select here 004 this is here yeah. so here we can also select the message type whether we need a error message if we want to select the if we want to error message we can select error message here for cancel w for warning or information anyone anything we can select and just click on save uh see save and generation successfully completed come one step back and save and again one step back and save so now now we have created the validation rule now we have to assign the validation rule with our company code let's go to transaction op28 uh, so here i am selecting a new entries my company code is 2001 and our call point as we discussed earlier call point call point is a uh, um, Call point is nothing but whether this validation tool uh, we are defining at, uh, at at what level header level or line item level or for complete document while the validation rule is at uh, line item level so i'm selecting the two and i need to select that uh, step and this is my validation step here and just hit enter and at last we have uh, activation level so scroll to right and have four here so here we have three options one is inactive and one is activate so i'm selecting the one and just click on save so validation rule is ready so we will we will test this in the same system i'm going to the transaction ab50 so here my company code is 2001 and i'm taking the document data as a posting date and header is a uh, validation so uh, as we have so i have i have uh, basically i have taken this only this gl account so i'm copying this gl account here and for testing purpose i'm taking another uh, balance sheet gl account only in the debit and credit side here so i'm entering thousand dollars here and i hit enter whenever i hit enter system saying assignment field is required so it will not allow me to post the document see the save button is uh, grayed out once uh, the system also saying that uh, item 001 must be corrected so if i go to assignment field and enter something some value here like uh, uh, 
so I'll just under hit enter then system will allow me to post this document see here uh, earlier uh, this save button post button was uh, grayed out now it's uh, showing as a uh, ready for post see here, here we can also observe here this green button is came so now again i will remove this one and uh, hit enter system will throw me the same error message assignment field is required so let's maintain this and have posted this up and we have uh, another scenario like uh, if we have multiple gl accounts in that case what we have to do so for that dgp0 Go again to transaction code ccp0 and I will explain you here. So this is our validation rule. BKP of bookers is equal to 2001 come my company code and uh, transaction code is equal to b 50 and BSEC H point is equal to this GL. If what if I have multiple GL accounts? So in that case, we will be creating a one set. With the help of transaction code gs01 so here we are uh, defining a one set in this set we will maintain the multiple gl accounts so i will show you how to create this one FIGL. validation i'm uh, giving the set name here and um, i will mention this uh, table we are let, we are taking a line item table so b fake and this is a basic set and hit enter then system will ask for the field name so we are using the gl field right so h quant and i will give you i will give that here multiple gl accounts like uh, this gl account i will here and so i have maintained these four gl accounts and i'm saving this set so my set name is fi underscore gl underscore validation now i'm going back to my validation rule and uh, clicking on prerequisite and here I am uh, removing this one GL account from here and this equal to symbol also so here now I have to modify my criteria so here GL account I have I will use this option in and then we have to use set directory option and then go back to this set and copy this set name and paste it here and hit enter just so now the entire thing will be same. I'm saving this one. I'm coming out of from this transaction code. Go back one more step back. Yeah. So so we have this is a set which I have created. Now I will show you this set in display mode. So here we have maintained four accounts. If you if you are, if you are end user trying to post any one of these GL account system will throw an error message. So I will take I will try with this GL now as of now. So let's see. Document date as a posting date, same date. Um and yeah, I'm taking this GL account one zero zero one six double zero. See this is the same GL account one zero zero one six zero zero and then i will take the other gl account which we have not included in our validation rule let me pick an another gl account so i will take this gl account here and this one credit and this one debit uh this is for testing purpose only we are using here so i will take twenty thousand dollars here and whenever I uh, hit an enter button, system will throw me error message. See, see, assignment field is required. So, if I go to the assignment field and mention anything, something uh, saying that the test, then system will allow me to post this transaction. 
so I will I will post to another I will show you another example as well just a second now in this time I will take this GL account for double zero assignment field is required so if I enter something here text then system will not allow system will allow me to post this transaction sorry oh uh, yeah this one see the post button is populated now if I remove this one and hit enter the post uh, button is grayed out and system is showing me throwing me the error message So I hope you guys understand. So thank you so much for this watching this video. Thank you.